you have a minute? I'm on my way upstairs. IDVA wanted to talk with us about putting together a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. I'll meet you by the elevator. Over here. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Then we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like the devil. I mean, obviously, we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> Sorry. Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right. I'm in any so you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Shouldn't be long. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila. You now have level two security clearance. Not bad for your first few weeks. Find the camera control station first. I'll update your communicator. Oh, this is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. I'm sorry if that came up wrong. We are not trying to be a bottleneck here, but we just don't have the resources right now to do two times the research. Finding that balance is your priority. Your entertainment products are simply a means to pay the bills for larger and more important work. That's the way the world works. Mm? Dirty money buys clean hospitals. You get it? We're on board, Letitia, rest assured. We have our best employee working on this, but it will take time. That means you. Good. And thank you. The both of you. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Tabarnak! It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Come on. So, what's next? We do as the lady says. 
Focus on the observatory. Assassin, Templars, crazy talk. I'm curious about this shareholders meeting, though. How about you break into Olivier's office and see if you can find his schedule? Oh, what? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I own you! <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to ruin your life. So, do as I say. Now, step over to the window. You can't waltz into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did you know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh, yeah. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was fake, right? So, anything's possible. Either you walk through that door, or throw yourself off the terrace. Oh, well done, kiddo. Find his computer. Make it snappy. We're looking for the shareholders' meeting schedule. It's worth a lot of money to us. Be careful now. As the data moves, there are security programs constantly monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them, or they will destroy your data and send it back home. Sneaky bastard. A pirate through and through, ain't ya? Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now, wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. As gullible as ever. Now, hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. I practiced. I think you pulled it a little too long. Oh, come on! Not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray! It's our old friend. Hey there! I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh? You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. 
Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Go, oh, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. Small bit of sequence data on Joan of Arc. Minutes? I don't... I have an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline! Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. Deal with him. Well, I'll be hanged. King George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily livid punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I think our reception would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. I won't do you a little good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The king wants them eradicated, above all else.
Mark him. Vane. The governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. A lot of you. Make way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move! Go! Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. You should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Then these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. I know well armed. We are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys, yet I do not. Return to your post and await my orders.
Do you hereby promise and declare that in case any of the said pirates shall on or before the 5th of September, in the year of our Lord 1718, surrender him or themselves to any one of the principal secretaries of state in Great Britain or Ireland, or to any governor or deputy governor of any of our plantations beyond the sea, every such pirate and pirate so surrendering him or themselves as aforesaid shall have our gracious pardon of and for such his or their piracy or piracies by him or them committed before the 5th of january next ensuing and we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals captains and other officers at sea and all our governors and commanders of any forts, castles, or other places in our plantations, and all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. Ugh! <sighs>
faster, lads! We're losing ground! Bloody pirates. My coin's almost out, and there's a new girl at Miss Hannah's I'd love. I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in Nassau. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the king's pardon and salvage what oh, dignity we peace. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobbin. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. 
I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you forecastle headed fuddlers, see you at the gallows. You'll all be dead men! Bastards! I need a drink. <laughs> 